Okay, so what we're gonna do here is basically these are gonna be the blocker and we're going to try to avoid the blocker either by hitting line or by hitting inside where the block is. Oh, you got blocked. And now you can tell if they need more distance, they can't hit line. There we go, good, we can hit line, good distance. Good, all right. So now, we're gonna attack the outside blocker's arm here. So the green noodle is gonna be the one that I'd like you to hit. Do not hit the blue and do not hit the red. So the green noodle we should hit every time. Oh, the blue blocker got you. There's the green noodle, good. So this is really gonna work our hand on ball work so that we can actually get the ball to go where we want it to go as an outside hitter and make some decisions. So another thing we can do to try to save middle blockers pinkies and save middle blockers jumping and try not to create bad habits. Sometimes middles do have some bad habits about reaching and giving uh, seams and edges here for our blockers to attack and, and try to get tools. And so we're gonna have a player here who's gonna do some variety of things. Sometimes they'll do that throw and give them maybe some edges to tool. Sometimes they're gonna be all the way there and be fairly solid. And so they gotta know the difference between when the noodles are coming at them late like that, or if the noodles are real solid like that and hit around it. So we'll mix it up a little bit and hopefully they can see when they've got those late hands that are coming in to give us an edge. Oh, he got blocked on that one for sure. Oh, you got blocked by that blocker on that one. She's solid, good. For this one, what we're gonna do is the blockers are gonna put up um, all three colors, but the person behind the player who's attacking is gonna call out which color the hitter should try to hit. So they have to be able to see the blocker and then try to get the hand on the ball to hit that particular color. One tricky thing that we're gonna do though is that we're gonna keep moving around which uh, zone the different colors are gonna be in, so it's not always gonna be the same one. They're gonna keep it kind of tricky so you can't just know that green is line or red is middle. Sometimes you have a right blocker who's a little bit shorter than a left blocker, and so we wanna train our hitters to make sure we're going over or at the hands that are gonna be the weakest, and so for this particular drill, we can set up short right side, big middle. Don't let that red one get you. She's big. There we go. Sometimes you get a scenario where the right blocker is really big and strong, and so we gotta make sure that we're picking the right blocker to go after in this scenario, and sometimes middles are maybe not so good closing, or sometimes they don't always get a big block press after movement, and so you can change the alignment here so you've got a different set of hands that you're gonna contend with here. So now what we can do here is sort of artificially enhance the height of the net. So instead of raising the whole apparatus up or changing the way your net formation is, you can just basically put these, these up however high you want to go. And what we're going to do here is have middles go through the middle zones of the net and try to attack a ball and taking it at a very high contact point. Um, and so they're not getting too lazy about bringing their arm down and hitting low contact points, trying to go high and hit thicker angles. There we go, and this will also force our setters to maximize our middle's reaches. Setters gotta get it high enough for them to go over those noodles. Over the noodles, there you go.